And we're live. So, the name of the story that we're reading today is called What's the Big Idea, Molly? by Valerie Gorbachev. Our table of contents. We will be reading the second story, The Variety Show, a little later. And as you can see here, what's the big idea, Molly, is a fantasy story, okay? And as well as the other one is fiction. So both of them are not real, but we will see how in the fantasy, the animals, you know, are acting a lot like humans, and they do very funny stuff. The dedication page is for Patty Gouch. What's the big idea, Molly? by Valerie Gorbachev. Molly put down her notebook. It was not a good day for ideas. Molly had been trying to write a poem all morning. She loved beautiful words, but she couldn't find an idea. Now all her friends had come to Molly's house. Tomorrow was Turtle's birthday, but no one could come up with an idea for a gift for Turtle either. Molly put her pencil down. I know, Rabbit said. A nice picture is a great birthday gift. I will draw a picture of a flower for a turtle. I like it, said Goose. I will draw a picture of a flower for turtle too. Frog jumped right off the couch. Me too. I love to draw flowers. And me, said Pig. Flowers are my favorite things to draw. No, 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 said Molly. Drawing is a good idea, and I like to draw too. But we can't give Turtle five pictures of the flower. We need to think. I think of my best ideas when I run, said Rabbit, walking out of the house. I think best when I am fishing, said Goose. Goose said, following him. I get my best ideas down by the pond, Frog said. Mine come to me under the willow tree, said Pig. I'll be back soon. I'm staying here, said Molly. My best ideas come to me right here. When I come, when they come to me at all, that is. And she sat down on the porch. Maybe she'd do better thinking up a gift for Turtle than she did thinking up a poem. So it seems like she's trying to write a poem. In the meantime, Rabbit ran and ran and ran until he got the perfect idea of what to draw for Turtle's birthday. Frog hopped to the pond and plopped in. He swam and swam until he got an idea for of what to draw for Turtle's birthday. Goose waddled to the down to the lake. He fished and fished until he got the right idea of what to draw for Turtle's birthday. Pig went right to the willow tree, and she took a nap. That's how she gets, she got her 
best ideas. When she woke up, she knew just what to draw. When all the friends ran to Molly's house with their ideas, Molly still had no idea at all. What ideas did you come up with? She asked, a little bit grumpy. Running through the woods, I saw a beautiful tree. I'm drawing the tree for Turtle, said Rabbit. I'm sure Turtle will love it. Oh dear, Frog, said Frog, jumping into the pond. I saw a beautiful tree too. Two pictures of tree will be all right, won't they? You will not believe it, said Goose. But I caught a fish under the most beautiful tree as well and have drawn it, that very tree for turtle. Three very good pictures of trees will be right, too, right? Whoops, squealed Pig. The tree that I was sleeping under was the perfect tree, and I started to draw the very tree for turtle. Oh, goodness, said Molly. First, it was all flowers. Now, it is all trees. You can't give Turtle a picture of a tree. Um, wait, I have, I got an idea. She sat down on the porch with her pad and pencil and began to write. What is it, Molly? Said her friends. Do you want to draw a tree too? No, said Molly without looking up. Just wait. Then Molly told everyone her idea, and they all loved it. Molly and her friends got busy working on Turtle's present together. They drew and painted and glued and stapled until it was finished. Happy birthday to you. The next day was Turtle's birthday. They met him down by the pond and sang happy birthday to him. Then all together gave him one, just one, wrapped present. It was a beautiful book from his five friends with beautiful pictures for every season. Four seasons. The summer picture was drum, drum. I'm sorry. The summer picture was drawn by rabbit. Summer. In summer, it's so hot. I feel like I am melting. I'm a melting pot. Goose drew an autumn picture. Autumn. Fall is in the air. Leaves are blowing here and there. Frog drew the winter picture. Winter snow is crystal white. It shines in the night. Pig loved spring best. Drew spring. Spring is here. Let's give a cheer. It's the best season of the year. And Molly wrote the most, and Molly wrote every beautiful word. I love the book, said Turtle, and I love all of you. I will think of you whenever I read it. And they all sat down and had a great birthday party. Hold on, I'm trying to turn the page, but I think the, the, the book got stuck. 
So, so far the story is really nice. It shows us, okay, hold on. I think it's working now, let me go back. Okay, there's still a few more pages. So it shows them just being really happy, enjoying a wonderful time. When Molly went home, she sat back on the porch step. I wonder, she said, picking up her notebook and pencil, if I will ever get, if I, oh, I'm sorry, if I will get another big idea tomorrow. I'm ready for it. And that was the end of that story. So that was a really nice story. Let me go ahead and show you what we're writing today. So I'll just give it a minute. I know my computer had a little bit of, of difficulty, so that's okay. Let me go ahead and refresh the page. Let's see if it works now. So we're going to go ahead and make sure you start writing your name. I am collecting this, so I, it looks like the title is working there. We're going to remember the setting of the story when we were looking at the video in Brain Pop about what is the setting, you know, where the story takes place, and, and where the story takes place in the story is very unique. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for my computer to take a deep breath, and then I'm going to scroll up once it's ready. Okay, so as you can see, I started writing my name. You write your name. Today is Monday, May 11th, 2020. We are describing the setting. I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller so I can fit uh, everything we're going to write. We're going to describe the setting. We're going to pretend to be Molly the mouse. And uh, we're going to, you know, use all of our effort to write, just like how she wrote that beautiful story for her friend Turtle. Okay, so our one of our first sentences that we're gonna begin with, we're gonna start with the um, like the main point. So let me hold on, let me fix my camera just a little bit. Doesn't look too crooked. Okay, so far everything good. All right, so we're describing the setting. So in the story, we. See Molly's. Hold on, sure. Make the M nice and neatly. Make sure after the Y in the word Molly, you do the apostrophe S because we're talking about her house. In the story, we see Molly's house. All the animals visit her house. That was a big part of it. Molly's house was one of the settings in the story. Now, of course, do, um, do real life um, mice or mouse have um, a house for themselves or a home. No, they don't. That's why the story is pretend. So it's just very important to keep that in mind that this is a fantasy story. All right. So as you can see, my first two sentences in the story, we see Molly's house. All the animals visit her house. There is also different parts in the outdoors that they go to, for example, the lake running around the forest, right, uh, or just hanging out by the tree. Okay, so the next sentence would be like, the outdoors show how the animals Think of ideas of gift ideas 
But it was funny at the end, all of the animals ended up drawing a tree because they really love the tree. There you go. So then once that, that finished writing, right? So definitely we can say that Molly's house is one of the biggest settings in the story, but also we have the tree. That was also a really big setting in the story because all of the animals are like, I love the tree. The tree is awesome. And look how big it is. It like it helps me for like the pig. It helped them sneeze. I'm not saying sleep. I'm sorry, I had to sneeze. That's why I said sneeze, but that's okay. Um and that's how we think of the setting of the story. So Molly's house, and then by the end, by the lake, was also one of the settings where they had the party. And then by the very end, where the story really wraps up and it helps Molly come up with a new idea, is back in her house. Okay, so if you want to write down that the lake is a setting, you're more than welcome to do so.